Hey guys, I was gonna do a video real quick. Uh, the hens are out. Um, <laughs> I finally got my board around the bottom over there so they can't get out and they're mad. But now I don't have to worry about. If you can see this house next door, it's for sale. They had the flower bed over on the back side of the house. Well, the chickens would go over there and scratch and dig and relax on there. I just knew a realtor was gonna come over one day and that wasn't gonna go over too good. <laughs> so, and it's best to keep your animals in your own yard. I'll do a disclaimer. It is best. Now, these, this lady over here on this side of me, she wants me to put chickens in her yard. She, uh, When she goes to work in the morning, I, about twice a week I put them over there when our dogs are up so they can eat the bugs. She loves the chickens and I give her eggs. But the reason for this video is if you do not have a rooster, chickens are submissive animals uh, anyways because, um, I don't know, God just made them that way. Um, and so if you want to teach your chickens to let you catch them and pick them up, there's an easy technique. Let's see if, and of course, I'm not going to do it now that I'm... Let me see. We'll do it on this night here. You just walk up to them and look straight at them. And this one's not going to do it. Give me a second. Let me find one that'll do it. And of course, they're not scared of it. They're supposed to do that right there. And what it is is, is a, a reflex. See the lift of their tail, but they think they're getting bred because you remember these chickens have never been with a rooster. But the, I use that as a incentive and just pick them up. You just pick them up one-handed. All right. You just put your and I can carry all these chickens around. And that's how I put them from one yard to the next. Um, let's put her down. And she'll fluff her feathers because she thought she was bred. She, she don't know no better. Uh, she doesn't have the concept. All right? And so you teach them when they're young to do that. Just you reward them when they do it. You pat them on the back and put pressure on their back. And they think they got bred. And they'll fluff up their feathers. And then uh, when they get older like this, if you have one that gets out, you just walk up to them submissively. And they just, oh. And remember, I'm not doing all this one-handed. They're not fighting me at all. Uh, the other hand is under the breastbone. All right? So that's no big deal. Teach them when they're young. Um, and it's just they're, they're used to it with the rooster. See, I still have a hold of her. And I can still do this, and I can still press down. And she still thinks I'm the rooster. And now she's mad. She fluffs up. She thinks she got bread, and she walks off. All right. Now, this one I'm not going to pick up. I'll show you how she does it. And she's not doing it. But all you're doing is mimicking mimicking the rooster is all you're doing and I can show you on this one she was by a tree the screen's moving probably too fast for you to see but I can come over here and <laughs> they're mad at me now but I want to do this one because he didn't you just keep following around and if you see once I grab her by the tail feathers then she submits all right and they're supposed to do it better than that I'll have to work with her some more but all right nothing to it on chickens and that way for some reason one gets out of yard and in the neighbor yard it's not a uh, spectacle running around the yard. All right. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.